What's up fam and thank you so so much for stopping by the channel once again from us over here at Locust Wild Honey. So for quite some time now you guys have been asking, requesting ever since I've kind of teased it out there. Paul, when are you going to be doing the minimal to fear of God kind of similarity differences type of video kind of doing a comparison between the two. What I decided to do was something a little bit different because I think it's really important to be able to really quantify a difference between the two. We should really know the inherent value of what fear of God brings to the table. One of those things is the fact that it is comprised of salvage denim. Now you might be one of the very select few that actually knows what salvage means. However, you might be part of the group that is the majority that doesn't actually know what it means and there's nothing wrong with that. So today I decided to do a video that briefly summarizes and characterizes what makes salvage denim and why there is value in it and what to look for. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into today's video. So I believe a good place to start would just be to break down what the word is, to give a definition, and just kind of go from there. So the word salvage is made up of a prefix and a suffix. The prefix being self, and the suffix being edge. So to break it down for you guys, it's literally the self edge. This points to a specific technique implemented to craft the denim using strictly the denim's edge. The thing that's so special about salvage denim is the fact that it's wound much tighter and denser. This in turn results in a really tight weave and it's super, super sturdy. It feels like just really high quality. Furthermore, in the denim weaving process, there's a lot of like different inconsistencies which makes the surface really, really unique. Now if you're in distressed denim, this is the perfect recipe to get you that really nice vintage look, really unique. And that's what's so special about the OG washes specifically with Fear Denim and why it goes for so much more. It's due to the fact that it is from an older loom, which means there's so much more variation to it. Also when it comes to salvage denim, one thing I mentioned earlier is the fact that it's so much more denser and the fabric that's used is a lot thinner, which equals when you do the distressing and you leave the the bits on there you have these nice beautiful like thin shreds and honestly to some people that might not mean a lot but to people who love denim and who just like understand like the fabric differences this actually means a whole lot not all salvage denim is created equal. As I already stated earlier, the earlier batches, the OG batches of Fear of God denim seem to be worth more. And that's simply due to the fact that people can actually see the denim heads out there, can actually see the difference between density and how thick uh, the actual fabric woven is. And those different variations on the denim surface result in these really beautiful inconsistencies, which is actually really, really sought after due to the fact that they're just that much more unique than you know the newer batches like I said not all salvage denim is created equal as the older looms the looms that kind of were woven like with a more old-school approach tend to be more highly desirable as they are a bit more unique no one does it better than Japan at this point in time because they kept it old school they're still doing it the same way and that's why Japanese salvage denim is the denim to look for if you're looking for the best denim at this point you might be asking yourself if salvage denim is that much more special, if it's that much more unique, if it looks so much better, then why isn't all denim just made from salvage denim? And that's a great question. First and foremost, the process of making salvage denim is so much more tedious. As I stated earlier, we're using thinner fabric as well as weaving it so much denser. Needless to say, if you're spending more time on a specific pair of denim, that makes production go down in terms of numbers while quality stays up. Conversely, so many companies decided to just go with the mass production type of denim where quality suffers but production numbers soar. Denim weaving process aside, there's also a ton of waste when it comes to making these salvage denim looms. The reason why I say that is because if you're strictly trying to use the denim's edge or the self edge of the denim, it requires you to make the width of the loom of denim a lot shorter. This honestly results in a ton of waste and lower efficiency. To be able to determine whether or not your denim is salvage, check out these pictures. I found them online and it's essentially looking at the hem of the denim um, if it is salvage denim, it's gonna look like this. And then if it's not salvage denim, it's gonna look like a bit more sewn like this. Salvage denim isn't necessarily better. Of course, it looks a little bit different, it looks unique, and thus it becomes more desirable. But as it pertains to longevity or wear, 
Generally, they last about the same amount of time, so I wouldn't worry about that so much. Sure, selvage denim might feel a little bit more sturdy, but that's as far as that goes. What it comes down to is essentially just the look, and if you're a denim head and that matters a lot to you, then spending that extra coin for sel selvage denim is worth it. But if you're like the majority and that doesn't really matter to you as much, then it can kind of fall by the wayside and you can spend your money elsewhere. At the end of the day, my objective was to educate you guys so you guys can make the best decision with your money. With all that being said, guys, I wanted to thank you so much for stopping by the channel. As always, it's a huge privilege to make these videos for you guys. Honestly, I mean that from the bottom of my heart. If you could please do me the huge favor, the immense blessing of liking this video. If you did enjoy it, it would go such a long way. And yeah, as I said earlier, we are going to be doing the minimal versus Fear of God video, but I just wanted to lay down the foreground, the foundation. That way we can speak about these things and know them in context. Anyways, guys, as I end every video here at Locust Wild Honey, I'm gonna say peace and be blessed.